But the principle of universal Darwinism is that any information that is varied and selected will produce design. And this is what Richard Dawkins was on about in his 1976 bestseller, The Selfish Gene. The information that is copied, he called the replicator. It selfishly copies, not meaning it kind of sits around inside cells going, I want to get copied, but that it will get copied if it can, regardless of the consequences. It doesn't care about the consequences because it can't, because it's just information being copied. And he wanted to get away from everybody thinking all the time about genes. And so he said, is there another replicator out there on the planet? Uh, yes, there is. Look around you. Here we'll do in this room. All around us, still clumsily drifting about in its primeval soup of culture, is another replicator. Information that we copy from person to person by imitation, by language, by talking, by telling stories, by wearing clothes, by doing things. This is information copied with variation selection. This is, is design process going on. He wanted a name for the new replicator. So he took the Greek word, my meme, which means that which is imitated. Remember that, that's the core definition, that which is imitated, and abbreviated it to meme just because it sounds good and made a good meme, an effective spreading meme. So that's how the idea came about. It's important to stick with that definition. Um, the whole science of memetics is, is much maligned, much misunderstood, much feared, but a lot of these problems can be um, avoided by remembering the definition. A meme is not equivalent to an idea, it's not an idea, it's not equivalent to anything else really. Stick with the definition. It's that which is imitated, or information which is copied from person to person. So uh, let's see some memes. Um, well, uh, you, sir, you've got those glasses hung around your neck in that particularly fetching way. Um, I wonder whether you invented that idea for yourself or copied it from someone else. If you copied it from someone else, it's a meme. And what about, uh, oh, I can't see any interesting memes here. How do you have one? Who's got some interesting memes for me? Um, Oh, well, your earrings. Now, that's, I, I don't suppose you invented the idea of earrings. You probably went out and bought them. There are plenty more in, in the shops. That's something that's passed on from person to person. Um, all the stories that we're telling, well, of course, Ted is a great meme fest, masses of memes. The way to think about memes, though, is to think, why do they spread? They're selfish information. They will get copied if they can. But some of them will be copied because they're good or true or useful or beautiful. Some of them will be copied even though they're not. Some, it's quite hard to tell why. The memes are all trying to get copied. Trying, in inverted commas, i.e., the shorthand is, that's the shorthand for, if they can get copied, they will. They're using you and me as they're propagating a copying machinery. And we are the meme machines.